my YouTube. Um, I have not posted in a very long time. Um, we have a lot to discuss. Um, I will put a disclaimer, I most likely will cry in this video. Um, this probably will be one of my longest videos. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so, earlier this year when I moved out, I thought I was doing something good for myself. And it still is good, you know, good things came from it, but a lot of bad also came with it. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to not have to work like a nine to five job and still be able to afford my rent and bills. That didn't happen. So I ended up getting a job closer to where I live. And um, I still work there now. Um, I tried working at H&M also on the weekends. That was cool, but there was just things that made me not really want to be there. So I left and now I'm working at a different job on the weekends. And that job actually pays more than a lot of these jobs I've worked. So I'm trying to hold on to that one just a little bit so I can save up, but um, yeah. Um, a life has not been the best for me these past few months. Um, me and my best friend, my guy best friend, person I love more than anybody in the world, we didn't really have a disagreement or altercation. It was more so a mutual understanding of there's something wrong and we just stopped talking to each other. And that was really the start of all the bad things. And then after that, um, I had been struggling to pay my rent on time ever since I moved here. And I will say, it's not that I can't afford my rent, it's just, I have had a really bad problem with saving my money. And that's been the biggest issue. Yeah. So, um, going forward, I will, you know, make sure every check I put some money to the side, even if it's just like $20. Um, yeah. So in the midst of me, um, not being able to pay my money, let me grab y'all because I don't like this angle, but, um, I look a mess because I just woke up and I've been crying, but, um, In the midst of me, um, I don't, I don't want to hold y'all though. Okay, anyways, we're going to put y'all right here. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. I guess we'll put y'all back here. Um, I don't remember what I was just talking about, but um, yeah, so I need to get better at saving. Um, I mean, I knew that. I used to be really good at saving when I lived with people, but ever since I was on my own, it's really hard to save money. So um, I do want to say in this video, if you are thinking about moving out on your own, please, please, please save. I'd say save like $5,000 to $10,000 before you even do it. But I understand, you know, everybody's situation like myself. I was just in a, a really bad mental state for almost a year. So I just needed to go. And it, it's it been so freeing to go, but I'm gonna get into this. The, the whole reason I'm making this video is because that all might be changing off one decision. And 
now my life is just fucked up. But, um, yeah. Um, my clothing brand, I've been postponing it for a long time. I have been working on it, of course, but it's like I'm always trying to pay the bills, always trying to work. I'm really a workaholic because I'm like, I don't want to see myself not succeed. And life is just like, has me feeling like, what's the point of living if all I do is work? And when I'm not working, I be tired, so I be sleeping. I do try to make videos. Um, I'm still on TikTok, still trying to get that 10K followers so I can get paid on there. But um, it's just been sadness after sadness. Um, it's October. Halloween is a Sunday. Um, earlier this month, I got a warning that I could potentially be evicted from my apartment if I don't pay my rent by the day um, they told me. And I knew, because um, before I was going to pay it on time, well, not on time, maybe like a day or two after, which is in compliance. Like you have two days after the first to pay your rent. But um when I, I do Instacart and DoorDash on the side. When I cashed out my Instacart money, it didn't hit my bank account until the morning. And, or maybe later that night, but I was asleep, so I didn't see it. And um, when I got up, I checked my bank account and saw I was missing some money. And the only reason I was missing money is because of my um, car insurance. And, um, they, since September, they have been, um, like, not really double charging me, but it is double charged because I'm paying my car insurance on time. And then the week after, they'll take the money out of my account and then put it back in at the end of the month. I don't know why they've been doing that. I don't know where, but it's been happening. And um, I've been hating that. Um, Yeah, and then my birthday made me realize how truly, like, lonely I am. Like, shout out to all my friends that actually, you know, mess with me for real. But, um, like, in general, like, I did a lot to make sure, you know, I could have a good birthday and not that many people showed up and it, it really made me sad and it's like they could have told me you know they weren't gonna come but a lot of them didn't and that made me feel like wow you know i hate being such a nice person sometimes because people will take your kindness for weakness and um yeah Um, now I guess I'll get into what happened last night. Um, I was doing, when I got off work, I did an Instacart order. I get off at five and I did an Instacart order, dropped it off. It was in my area. So, um, I was on my way home and as I was pulling up to the light to turn left into my apartment complex, I saw this car come in. I was like, let me see how fast they look like they're going. And they weren't really going fast at all. So I was like, I can make the turn. And then as I was turning, this car came next to them, like in the left lane. There, The car I saw was in the right lane. And in the left lane was another car coming fast towards me as I was turning. And I was like, oh, I got it, I got it. But then as I was turning, they hit like my passenger side, like bumper. And I guess they didn't, 
I don't know what really happened. It all happened so fast, but um, I wasn't mad. Um, my car spun a little bit. Yeah. I'll try to insert pictures and videos, um, hopefully on the screen right now. Um, yeah. Um, everybody was okay. Um, I did hit my head on the car frame when I got hit on my left side, but the pain went away. Yeah. I did a lot of crying, y'all, because, like, my car is how I make money. It really is. So without it, it's just like, you know... I'm at like a halt. And I know I have other ways I, I can make money. Like I have a whole um, business room. I could be in there right now just sewing away, making stuff to sell, which I'm probably going to do because I need to make money. But um, yeah, it's just like every time like I catch a break of like, okay, life is okay real quick. Something really bad just has to happen. And this is really bad because this happened at the worst time because rent is due next week. I don't have the money right now to do anything. I can't even get groceries right now. And um, I'm going to try to talk to my complex, see if they can do anything. But yeah. I will say, because I'm grown, um, I could have waited for that other car to pass before I made that decision to turn. But, you know, it is what it is. I was the one who made that decision to turn and thought I could make it, which I did, because the majority of my car was um, out of the way, but my trunk wasn't. So, like my rear, I guess, since they hit me. But they did have space to, you know, swerve around me, but they didn't, so, you know. But I'm I'm not mad. I'm just sad. Because, you know, that's how I make my money. Yeah. I didn't even want to, like, talk to them, really. Just because I'm like, I don't want... I don't want to argue at all. I don't. I'm glad everybody's okay. And I just want us to move on with this. Just get the car fixed. I'll be okay. I don't, I don't want to deal with none of this paperwork. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to deal with none of that. But now I have to. All because I made one bad decision. And um, I haven't even had that car a year quite yet. It would have been a year next month in November at the end of the month. But my car might be totaled because the airbags did deploy. Because um, they did hit me really hard because my car spun. But um, yeah. It's just like, I'm putting like all my dreams on pause just to survive. And I hate that. I really do. Like, y'all know my passion is acting, but I also love fashion, which is why I'm trying to start a clothing brand. And, um, I haven't been doing nothing acting related except making videos. And then my clothing brand, I'm always designing, always watching fashion related content, all of that. But I'm just not putting in that work to like sew all the time because I, I hate it when it feels like a job. I love doing it as a hobby, really. But um, it's just like, dang. Because this, this can lead to a lot of other things. Say I can't afford to fix my car. Then I won't be with, I'll be without a car for a while. And um, that's not good. Um, I have to pay this rent. 
Luckily, there's only five months left in my lease, so I'm definitely gonna move in with Herbal Mates or figure out some other alternative to like save some money and not have to pay what I pay on rent. I pay typical Atlanta prices for rent if you live up north. If you live in the south, I know it's a lot cheaper, but I'm from the south, so I was trying to get in a new area, get in a new environment, and it has been good, but it's just like, dang, like my whole life just changed just like that. All because I made one decision. And I'm like, I go through life like I regret nothing because, you know, everything happens for a reason. I don't know what that reason is yet, but, you know, it happens. And um, I just got to deal with it. Um, I don't mind downgrading in cars at all, as long as it's good on gas. And ain't got no problems, I'm fine with it. But, um, yeah. This is too much. I'm probably gonna end up selling everything I have just to make the money because I found out um, in court, my court date's in, in December. Um, If I'm, you know, guilty and I'm like, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not really mad about whose fault it was, you know, but I'll be the bigger person because I'm like, I am aware that I did make that decision to turn. Yeah, but it was also dark, y'all. I will say that too. I couldn't really tell, you know how close or how far away they were as I was turning. But, um, yeah. But yeah, what I was saying, um, if I'm at fault for this accident, then um, I'll have to pay a thousand dollars and they're gonna put three points on my driving, rec driver, driving record. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, dang. I ain't got a thousand dollars. That's how much I spent on rent, pretty much. And I'm just like, wow. I just can't stop crying. I mean, I I can, but it's like er that's why I've been trying to like use this morning to just keep watching stuff that makes me smile, makes me laugh. Because anytime I have, it's, I'm just in silence, I just keep crying. Because I'm just like, I cut off my family, my entire family, to pursue a better life. And I moved up away. And now I might be going back. Which is, there's nothing wrong with. But it's just like. I did this for me and I just feel like, you know, my life's just been spiraling down because I have been depressed so much these past few months. Like at first I wasn't, I was great. You know, excited to be in a new area, my own place. Like I love having my own place, I do. But I'm like, it's, I'm not saving properly, saving money very well so since I can't really since I'm not really good at controlling my finances and making sure I put money to the side for things um I need to just find roommate a roommate or roommates and just um stay with them until I save up enough money again to get my own place again but um Life, life is tough, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to sell as much as I can. My stripper pole, I haven't been really, like I, I use it, but 
I could have really been using it for real, for real, and taking it seriously to make the money that I needed on OnlyFans, but um, I didn't because I don't know. Like, as much as I love pole dancing, it is hot a lot. And, um, and I'd just be tired from work, so it would just deter me from using it as much. But I still use it. But yeah, I'm gonna probably just sell it. I guess I'll sell my mannequin. Only thing is I know for sure I can't sell my computer because I'm still paying on it, my mattress, and um, my devices. Well, I can probably sell my iPad, but that's gonna suck because I use it to design but it's okay. I need the money. Yep. <sighs> oh my gosh. But I'm gonna try to keep it positive, y'all. I just hope everything works out in my favor. Um, I'm waiting on my car insurance people to call me and let me know, you know, what I'm supposed to do. But, um, yeah. And that's all, folks. Um, I hopefully will be making more bit YouTube videos. Because um, I want to make fashion-related content, vlogs, all of that again. But I want to take it serious. It's just... With me working so much, I'm like, it's no point. It's no point. But, um... Yeah. Um, thank y'all for watching. Um, if you are, um, depressed and having suicidal thoughts, um, my love, you are not alone. Um, you're going to be okay. And remember that you matter. Um, somebody on this world wants to see you alive, okay? I want to see you alive. I love seeing people thrive and flourish in life. Um, I want you to know you are loved. I love you. I love you all. Yes. Um, I don't know what's next, but I'm just numb, just going through the motions at this point in life. Let me get off this dog on camera before I start crying again. Okay, bye y'all. Um, thank y'all for watching. I love love y'all. I appreciate anybody who watched this whole entire video. Um, yeah. Bye.